As you know, again, election day, while many of you are casting votes, Central Indiana kids are voting too, and their decisions will be important when it's time for you to start holiday shopping. This week's toy testing is happening thanks to the Children's Museum of Indianapolis. It's different this year. And joining me live is Jared Kruger with the Children's Museum. Jared, good morning to you. Good morning. Hey, um, gosh, every year we do this segment and we have kids all around and we're able to watch them and see how it's going. How are you guys doing this event this year? Well, this is our 21st year and for the first 20 years, we could put the toys out on the tables and let kids, multiple kids play with the same toy. And obviously that doesn't work in this year of COVID. So we decided to take it virtual. So it's fairly straightforward at childrensmuseum.org slash toy testing. Um, uh, families can go online, watch videos of 20 toys. Uh, they're 30 seconds to a minute long. And then right below it, they'll be able to vote for their top three. Okay, Fairly so Fairly simple, a good family activity. Yeah, we love that. How were these specific toys selected this year? Well, that's a question we get every year. Uh, it's, it's a bit scientific and a little bit anecdotal. So first thing we do is we uh, evaluate all the toys that are new this year uh, in the toy industry. We see what our guests are buying and liking and playing with or not playing with. And then we ask our staff. Mm -hmm. And from that, we come up with uh, recommendations. Okay, that Play-Doh Go that we're looking at right there. I'm trying to see if it's messy because I know some people that won't buy messy toys. I'm, I'm all about the messier, the better. When right. are the winners announced? Uh, same place you, do, you will uh, see when you vote for the toys. Um, we, you have an opportunity to click a link that allows us to inform you directly through an email. And they'll also be on our website and you'll be able to purchase them directly through our web store. Uh, do you think that more parents are interested this year? I feel like there are more parents that are investing more in toys and things for the kids to do at home as opposed to maybe um, activities. Maybe they would buy something to go do and now it's like, hey, a lot of things we're doing in the house. Do you see that or do you feel that this year? Absolutely. We've seen everything from science kits to craft kits, uh, activities that will occupy a kid, sometimes by themselves, mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes with a parent or an older child with them. Uh, absolutely. You'll see in the, the 20 items that we've selected, there are a couple of those kinds of items that you can build or I'm a curious person or kind of dig and discover. So there's absolutely a trend that way. All right. And lastly, why do you think it's so important to let the kids be the ones that are, you know, choosing and making their voice heard? Well, if it's like my household, a lot of, kids, a lot of adults run around, vote, 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 vote. And Kids kind of understand what's going on, but they have the opportunity to vote themselves and see uh, what the results are. All right. Hey, thank you so much. We appreciate it and hope that it works out really great again this year for you all. Well, thank you very much for including us. Absolutely. If you would uh, like, if your child would like to do some of the toy testing, box59.com slash links, and we'll let you know more about how to do that. And again, those toys that are involved.